England got their Six Nations campaign off to a flying start in their round run matchup versus Wales. It was a, a one way contest. All the traffic was a white jumper with a red rose. Now they look to back it up against a team that almost stole a victory off them last season in the Six Nations. They'll want to make sure that doesn't happen again. Seems to be no changes in the team for today's matchup. And I was really impressed with the round one result with players like Stanley, Armitage, Banahan, I thought were very good in the back line. Alongside Brake and Davies, I thought were extraordinary. The Fort Pack performed admirably as well. Atwood was in everything. Jones, the number eight, with a 45 rating, was one of the standouts to perform at this level. I was just flabbergasted. Our opponents are the Italians, and there's not too much similarities in what you would have seen a few years ago from the side. Castro Giovanni is still there at tight head prop. Zani and Rizzo, they'll be a danger men in the back row as well. But as for the back line, not too much resemblance of any latest players in there. Messi at the back. But other than that, it's all new men in their second Six Nations campaign. They'll be looking to draw on their performance last season against the English where they were just pipped from Nathan Nichols. Can they do that again and get one over the young fullback? Of course, it's Mr. Captain, Mr. Play Kicker, and almost Mr. Goal Kicker, Nathan Nichols. He'll be kicking this game off. He's got the ball on a bit of a thread with these kicks sometime as the ref calls ready and the number 15 slaps the left side. High, high up and it's stolen by England who get the ball straight back. Armitage, oh, Nichols was looking for the ball around the corner. Didn't come his way though. We're going to go right side. They are. Ball away to Nichols. He slices and dices. Rubbers on through. Coming the opening try. It is. Nichols is in. Didn't really want to dive on that too early. And he comes away with the first try for England. That was amazing. That's his third English try, I think. I'll have to check on those stats. But definitely his second of the 2017 Six Nations well, did so well to cup that ball as he went down for it. Great work, speed and acceleration. Come up against the fullback, Massey put a little grubber through. Left and Massey for dust. And into the corner he goes. Opening try of this fixture. Second try of the Six Nations this season for Nathan Nichols. 5-0. What's Davies got this week? He was pretty good last match. Missed a couple of tough ones. Always good to get off to a good start just like that. Seven points early on is a real morale boost for the English. And it seems like this goal kicker, Mr. Davies, has the goods. Three minutes in, 7-0 England lead. How do we back up with that? That was a great start by Nichols. Short one from Italy. England, not many numbers there, but it finally comes their way now. Let's go to the left side. What the hell? I didn't even push anything. I don't understand why this kicking. I just wanted the ball. Italy, though. Great run back. Is he out? How did he get that kick away? Great play from the Italians. Nichols is in trouble, but he's got to go pass away to Banahan. What an offload! And away come England again! Same thing through! And pace race! The Spinks is out wide! Can't get him away! And the ball is stolen as well, and now Italy come back. Nichols was buried in that rock, and they're going all the way end to end. There's someone back there though for England. They cut back to the left side. Still going! What a play! Oh, why'd you pass it to me there? Oh, back of the hand! Oh, it's England! They are playing the most electrifying game of rugby you'll ever see. It's a try again. England are in for two. Wow! I'm speechless. That was one of the best tries I have seen. Out the back of the hand from Nichols. Played it through the back line. Gavin Henson to the corner. 
Wow. Whoa, whoa, wow. Absolutely phenomenal play. That ball just would not die. And these Twickenham fans are getting an absolute treat. Right from their get-go, it broke down a little bit of the pass to Nichols, who was a touch flat-footed. But overall, that's one of the best tries I've ever seen. And just like in the first round, he's hit the post. But just like the first round, it is England up two tries. This time, one conversion. It's 12 now over Italy. And how many minutes in are we? 10. We've done it even faster. Against Wales, it was about, what, 14 points in 13 minutes. Records are made to be broken as Italy kick off again. And England pull it in again, and they offload again as well. And Nichols gets a beautiful pass. The move breaks down. Oh, no. No way. No way. Not again. Nichols has gone down injured. And this could be another Six Nations ruined by injury. Just cannot get away with international rugby. We've just not played good enough at all. So we've been injured. We don't want to watch the rest of the match. That would be rather boring. So we're going to simulate through. Oh, it was so good. We were going so well. And it's all come apart again. We just cannot complete a Six Nations. Another injury. Well, let's see how what happens. Okay, so the game is simulated through. Very high-tech stuff here. England have got the win. No surprise there whatsoever, but I'm really, really scared about this injury. We missed out on the Six Nations last year. And we're looking so good. We were demolishing Italy. We'd already demolished Wales. Oh. Now we're injured again. What's the score? 27-12? Yeah, I'll take that. Beaumont picked up two tries. Schumach and Messina scored for Italy as well. Uh, overall, a good match. We win by 15 points, and I'm happy with that. Stats will be dominated. Nichols would have scored another couple of tries in that easily. But sadly... He didn't even get to half time, and ah, uh, I'm I got no words. It was so good, it was so good, and now it's come up all apart completely. Well, Nichols scored a try, made two line breaks, didn't even get to make a tackle. Oh, I don't know what our objectives were now, but it's looking pretty grim. Let's see if we got some some green at least from that match. Well, I'm still really concerned about this injury, guys. We did complete a couple of objectives. We got two line breaks, and we didn't make a handing error, which is nice, but we didn't enter our breakdown, of course. What was it? 15 minutes into the game, and we were off? Didn't make a drop goal, obviously, and we, we, we never really enter contests to steal the ball, but we got a bit of an increase. 0.6 on speed, 0.2 on acceleration, 0.6 off breaking tackles, 1.1 on passing and catching, and 0.8 on mental from that matchup. Overall, our performance was a 4.6, and we <laughs> we hardly even got started. So, oh, it doesn't look good, guys. It doesn't look good. Because at least the Tigers are playing. Is there a... Oh, oh, oh hang on. We're not the starting lineup for one day. Now, I'm a bit confused. Uh, Nathan Nichols, facial injury, unable to play for a week. Oh, of course. Six Nations, it does, doesn't it? It goes Six Nations, a week off, you know, and, and it lasts for about seven or eight weeks, doesn't it? Of course. So that's good. We're going to be injured for our week off. Oh, I'm excited by that. I'm excited because I really, 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 really want to play more Six Nations. I want to win the title. I know I, I'm going to have plenty of chances in the future. But I really, really want to win that title. Well, this is the Viva Premiership standing. Something we wanted to look at after our final Viva Premiership match before the Six Nations started. We are still in second. Only a three-point buffer over the Saints and the Harlequins, the Sharks as well. Uh, it's a bit of a bit of a cluster through the middle there. Uh, what do our fixtures look like? That's not what I want to go to. We're sitting here around 15. Uh, here we go. Oh, this, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I wanted to see. Right. 
So we had Wales. Then we played London Irish. Obviously, I played the England game and not the Irish game. So, oh, what the hell? The scores are gonna. <laughs> we actually beat Wales. Oh no, that's Wales there. Oh, the two the same scores. 27-15, 27-12. Okay, I'm up with the play now. I know what's going on. I got a bit confused by those scores. So 38-5 over Wales, of course. That was our last match. Then while I was away for the international side, Bath have beaten London Irish uh, 27-15. Now we have played Italy, which I got injured in, 27-12. So I have to play, I'm injured, sorry, for the Falcons game, but we should beat them quite easy. Then I should have an injury comeback. Oh, against the Sale Sharks. I lost to them last time, didn't I? 17-14, yeah, there it is. And then we have Ireland. And I'm presuming I'll miss the Harlequins game. And I'll have France and Scotland to wrap up the Six Nations. Come back for the Saints, Wasps, Tigers, Welsh and Saracens to finish off the season. I'm up for that. I'm up for that. Right, let's advance past this Falcons game. Hopefully get the win and see what's in store for our return to injury. Whether we'll play the Aviva Premiership game or we'll be away with England. Let's see what happens. Simulating through Bath, 26-8. Very good win. Extraordinary win, in fact. Now, we won't see how that reflects on the table because we're going straight to England where we're up against Ireland. So, okay, Nathan Nichols doesn't seem to have an injury. Let's have a look at the English team. Um, no real changes through there at all either. Yeah, see, I'm back. Captain is back. Captain is back. Now, we're starting at fullback again. The team's the same. Um, and yeah, that's good. So right, we haven't missed any Six Nations. I'm really happy about that because I thought that could have been disastrous to miss two Six Nations, two injury. Of course, last Six Nations were out for two, three months or something like that. So this is brilliant. This is good. We are back in action and we're up against Ireland. You can catch that match next episode. Bit of a shortened one today because of the injury, but we've gone through probably more matches in an episode than we have all series so, so that was about three or four games we've gone through there in this one episode so good stuff england uh let's have a look at the table actually because it seems that we're not first france is three from three so they're the team to beat scotland as well is two wins and a loss they're on four points the same as england ireland now we need to beat ireland and that will end their season we've beaten the two worst teams in the tournament italy and wales so a lot of work to do, but I'm back from injury, and I hope to hell I don't get another one. We've missed enough rugby through injury, right? That is my time done and dusted. A bit of a different look through today's episode, through the injury as well. Uh, Stat-wise, uh, before we wrap up, yeah, we've actually popped up to 81 and 91 on speed and acceleration. Very, very nice stuff, but overall not much changing from that matchup. But that wraps me up for today. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. A bit of a short one again. But, you know, can't help these bloody injuries. You're getting a pain in my ass. But I'll be back again for the resumption of the Six Nations. We're still going good in the Viva Premiership. Good to get a catch up on that. A good win over the Falcons as well. But I'll see you all next time for our match against Ireland. England looking to win their Six Nations title for the first time with Nathan Nichols. Until then, thanks for watching. And as always, take care.